If you've been jailbreaking your phone for a while, then you already know about this handy dandy tool. It is OpenSSH. Uh, it basically allows you to have, as it says, secure remote access between machines. In a nutshell, that means you can transfer files between your computer and your iPhone or other iDevice, your iPad or your iPod Touch. This is an essential tool for jailbreakers. Uh, it allows you to, like I said, transfer files to and fro between the device and a computer or another you know, SSH capable device. So I'm gonna show you how to use this right now. You can find it on the Cydia Telesforio uh, repo there, as you can see. Um, and you can just type in open SSH in the search menu in Cydia and find it, install it. And once you install it, you're good to go. Now, one thing I do wanna note is that you will need to make sure that the toggle that comes with open SSH is enabled. If you have SB settings, you'll see the SSH toggle. If you tap that, you can disable SSH, which is good for security reasons. You don't want to keep it running all the time. And you tap it again, you can turn it on. Now, you also need to note your IP address, your Wi Fi IP address. That's the IP address that you're going to type into your FTP client back on your computer to connect to your device via SSH. So it may sound a little confusing, but really it is easy. All you need to do is install OpenSSH enable the toggle and notate your IP address. Let's head over to the Mac and here is transmit. Basically, this is just an FTP client. There are tons of clients out there, but transmit, I just like, you know, the people behind transmit panic, they make a good product. So I decided that I would use this as my FTP client of choice. So now all you need to do is just click the plus sign here or whatever you need to do in your particular app. Um, I'm going to name our connection here. And then for the uh, protocol, make sure you select SFTP. So make sure it's secure FTP. The server name, guess what that's going to be? Yes, your IP address for your iPhone, the Wi-Fi IP address. The username should be root. So you just want to type root in there. And then for the password, it will be Alpine by default unless you've changed that. So just go ahead and click on save. And once you've saved it, you'll see it. Double click on the iPhone. And there you go. There is the iPhone's file structure right there. You're connected to your iPhone. You can browse the structure as a root user, meaning you can do pretty much whatever you want to do. You got to be careful in here. Don't delete anything important, but you can pretty much just peruse this thing and download files, upload files, however you want to do it. It's up to you. So let me just download a quick file. Let's go to our, I don't know. Hmm, let's see. What folder should I go to? Uh, how about um, hmm, boot? No, nothing in there. Let's go back. Let's go to applications. Let's try applications out. Open up Activator. Let's find a file here that we can transfer. Let's try icon.ping. Drag that over and I downloaded it. Right click on there, select uh, open with preview and then you'll see the uh, ping icon for Activator. So that may look familiar to you. So that is how you use OpenSSH. It's really easy as I was stating. Make sure though, one thing I wanna note is that you are using port 22 when you make your connection. It, by default, SFTP uses port 22. So that is how you use OpenSSH. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know what you think in the comment section or if you have any questions. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.